what's up everybody this is TJ Customs and dang it's been a hot minute hasn't it <laughs> what has it been two years since I've uploaded a video well I know I uploaded a, a collection video just yesterday and I have a few customs that I'm gonna showcase and I'm making some more right now basically let me quickly explain why I've been away and all that um, I had a period of my time of my life where I needed to kind of take yeah, I kind of go into something else so I ended up selling my collection at that time and I didn't really have anything to shoot anymore I didn't have any videos to make so I hadn't uploaded on the channel just because of that but I'm back now I'm uploading videos and you know I was uploading on YouTube I had a gaming channel and some other stuff but I'm back now I'm uploading videos on YouTube uh, on this channel and I'm showing off my newest custom that is a gift to my it's a gift to my godfather <clears throat> my uncle I call him my uncle but um, and he loves Spider-Man, so I wanted to give him this, and I wanted to come up with a new sort of design. It's not, I don't know if it's new, <laughs> but, um, I thought, hey, why not try something new for me? And I did a Spider-Man with street clothes on over the top, you know? He doesn't have any accessories or anything like that. That was kind of a bummer, but, uh, yeah, this, 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 this I think it came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh, I gotta fix that. I just noticed that. Wow. I gotta fix that before I send that out. That's embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, I guess what I'll do, I haven't done one of these showcases in a while, so I guess I'll throw them uh, in the back here and explain. I guess throw them in the back there and explain what um, what I, what I the recipe was to make this guy. It was pretty simple. I didn't really do much. It was a Marvel Legends Doctor Strange from one of the new Hasbro ones. Basically, it's just a Bucky Cap build, Bucky Cap mold. Um, that's it was a specifically a Doctor Strange, but it's basically the Bucky Cap body. Um, with lower legs of Savage Dragon from the Legendary Comic Book Heroes, because it's got those awesome sneakers and every, and jeans to make everybody's life super easy. Then I just completely resculpted the head. Um, and did the eyes and stuff. I'll shoot up some work in progress photos. The other two customs that I uh, showcase, I won't have any work in progress photos because I did those a long time ago. But um, this one, I do have some work in progress photos so you can kind of see where it started and where it is. Um, as for um, the way I painted him, I based him in this like dark blue-ish color. I don't know. I based the pants in that. Uh, obviously, his sweatshirt that was... All sculpted. The hoodie was sculpted completely. I sculpted this. You know, we had to re-sculpt this torso area, so we had the ruffles and stuff, so it made it look like he was wearing a hoodie. You know, and the hood sculpted. Uh, these little, uh, they're supposed to be the um, strings on his uh, hoodie. Those are uh, rubber band, pieces of rubber bands. So, yeah. Um... Like I said, I based his pin, pants in blue. I, I painted his hoodie black. Uh, then we did a dry brush, a pretty heavy dry brush of a light blue. And I don't know if this is coming up. On, I know that black spot is so hard not to notice. Or maybe it's just me, but um, I don't know. I think I rubbed that on it accidentally, so I got to fix that. But anyway, uh, other than that, the um, you can kind of see. I don't know if you can really see, but in the, all the creases that I sculpted and stuff, you can really see the the dark blue under the in, uh, underneath pop. It's it's hard to see on camera, I guess, but in real life, in person, it is really easy to see. And I don't have the best camera, so sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a flat black for the hoodie. I didn't do any dry brushing or anything like that. I just wanted a flat black for that. And then obviously, I painted all of the lines on to this Spider Man. Uh, I painted all of his web lines, which was a pain in the arse hull. It was a pain in my ass. But I did it anyway. I took a toothpick and just painted it. And um, I like how it came out. I'm a little upset with some things in the face. For instance, I you know I messed up some of the webs in the face. And I know I could have done that a little bit better. But it, for how difficult it was to do, I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Um, I, th I think it came out pretty good. Uh, overall, pretty happy with it. And um, I think that I know my godfather will like it. So, you know, I'm happy with that. And, uh, yeah, so... Other than that, all his articulation remains. I made sure to keep it all. He's got his ab crunch still. Uh, yeah, he's still got the the waist swivel. Um, I think he's limited to single jointed elbows now with the sculpt that I did there. Um, his hands still have full articulation that they did. His legs have completely full articulation that they did. So you can kind of see 
Just complete double jointed knees still. So he's got still full range of motion. So yeah, this is the custom, I don't even know what I'd call this. What, custom civilian clothes Spider-Man? Or <laughs> something like that. I wanted to give him a backpack, but I couldn't figure out the best way to do it. So um, I didn't end up doing it. But yeah, I guess custom civilian clothes Spider-Man is what I'm going to call this. So I want to thank everyone and anyone who's tuned in this video. If you like it, please click that like button and subscribe to see more. And I will catch you guys in the next custom showcase or video that I make. See you guys later. All right, peace.